Hi everyone and welcome to today's tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at who is going to come into your life next and why. For what reason will they be entering your life? Keep in mind it is a general reading. Not all messages might resonate for you. If a message is only confusing you, then um, that one is meant for someone else in the community. I will have the timestamps up in the description so go check that out if you already know which one belongs to you. Um, for anyone that is interested in booking a private reading with me, you still can. You'll find my email address in the description box as well as a link tree link. And if you go over there, you'll find my other YouTube channel, which is in Dutch, my TikTok, Instagram. And for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, different ways to do that over there as well. Now, let's take a look. So who is going to come into your life next and why? For what reason? Pile number one, you are going to be card number five with the gnomes. Humanity, friendship, hard work, and little vision. For pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be card number eight with hidden familiars, with allies, natural assistance, divine support, and comfort. For pile number two and pile number three, you are going to be card number 28 with Belladonna Visions. Caution, guidance, clarity, and stand firm. So if you need some more time with the piles to figure out which one resonates for you best, then pause the video here. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pal number one. If you chose card number five with the gnomes, then this is going to be your reading for today. So we are going to take a look at who is coming into your life next and why, for what reason, what are they bringing, what are their intentions. With gnomes, we also have humanity, friendship, hard work, and little visions. For some of you, I'm seeing that this could be a new co-worker slash friend. Turn friendship. This is someone that very much gives back to the community as well. Maybe doing some volunteering work. Share their little visions with you. Okay, let's just take a look. I kind of want to start with the Oracle and then uh, do I? Do I? Honestly, I have no idea what I... <laughs> no idea what i want okay let's just start with the oracle and then uh, do some tarot on top of that so pile number one who is coming into your life next and why for what reason we have career so again for some of you a new co-worker uh turn friendship um and we also have empowerment empowerment So that can even be like a boss figure for you. Um, what else? Who's coming into your life next, pal number one? And for what reason? Look at that. We not just have gnomes, but we also have goblins. Goblins, we have the moonlight, and we have spirit of place. Again, very connected to earth, very grounded. That can also be an earth sign. And those are, let me take a look, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Very connected to earth. For some of you, again, I'm feeling a strong like friendship here. Um, very much motivating you, very much inspiring you. Um, this can also just be a friendship that motivates you in your career. But I'm kind of feeling like a, a new like co-worker type. Mm, what else will they bring? Pal number one. Who is this person and what do they bring? This is a very straightforward reading for you guys. Uh, let's take a look. We have karma, justice, and balance. We have masculine. We have the north node with cosmic and purpose. We have messages and dreams. 
as well as nurture and compassion. So yeah, I definitely feel that this is a person that is very much like knows how to make decisions, knows how to keep their own balance. Again, very in balance with nature as well, very grounded energy, uh, but also someone that empowers you to trust your dreams, believe in your dreams and go for them. Very loving, nurturing. This is very much a person that's supposed to be in your life or a spirit that liberally brings into your life for you to learn from, grow, elevate your life to the next level. A lot of support. We do have moonlit light here, which does cause a little bit of myst my mystery. For some of you, it will even feel like you've known this person for a very long time when you meet. Honestly, pile number one, I feel like this is a very straightforward reading for you guys. Uh, but let's take a look at some tarot on this. Pile number one. For some of you, I feel like this might even be like soul tribe. Well, yeah, for like one or two of you, I'm kind of feeling soul tribe. Like, you know, some people are here for seasons, some people are here for reasons. And I definitely feel that this person here is here for uh, a reason. I don't necessarily believe that this is like someone, like a long-term thing, but that's fine too. Like the possibility is very much here, but I'm not hating it if it doesn't. Uh, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Five of Coin, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. Yes, okay, yeah, because that's, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. So this person very much, again, I feel like either a co-worker or friendship. At the beginning, I'm kind of feeling we're not liking this person, uh, just because this person shows uh, ourself sides of ourself that we don't like to see from ourselves it makes us feel like we're not good enough it makes us feel that we should try harder that we should work harder um i feel like this might be a person that has everything does everything is a very kind and humble person and loves and gives and there's a feeling of i don't trust this person <laughs> no one is this kind no one is this like holy you know, um, where that causes a little bit of like friction, more so with yourself, which I feel like that's good because um, it is it does trigger a new beginning and a new start with that fool. That's the completely new start again. So, yeah, it might be a painful experience for some of you, but I definitely feel that this will elevate you. It will make you that hangman where you go within yourself why am I feeling triggered? Where is this coming from? Why am I really upset? Just pay attention that you don't go into overdrive when it comes to thinking. Because the Eight of Swords very much is overthinking a lot. With that Five of Cups, a lot of the focus being on what we are not. Let's focus on what the qualities that we do have. You know, when we compare ourselves to others, we can only lose. Because someone is always better, has more, does things differently, in a better way. Um, you know, whatever. Um, where the focus should be on, like, but what uniqueness do I bring? And what can I learn from this? Because just because someone is like this and you are not, does not mean that you cannot learn lessons and become you know one of those traits you can like kind of like learn and take and use that for your own life so you can become a better person instead i'm kind of feeling how do you say it? like the, the the hairs on your neck kind of like yeah. in the netherlands i don't know in the netherlands we have this saying where it just reminds me a little bit of like a a cat where it's like a high back like standing up like Argh! you know where it's like no we can also use this as a learning moment 
to get to work with those gnomes and those uh, goblins because with the goblins as well and the moonlight here what you see is not always everything to it and that's totally fine doesn't mean like let's again with that for some of you there's a feeling with this person of like oh i'm seeing through this person oh everyone's not seeing this person but i'm seeing this person and then when it turns out to be the truth ah, ah, i said it you know let's just refrain from that drama even though it feels good sometimes let's just see okay this person does this and this and this and this and this and this way maybe i can you know put that into my life as well for others of you again i'm i do see a long term or like a good friendship coming off of this there is an initial feeling of whoop whoop you know uh, a little bit of um rivalry conflict or i thought you were such a bitch type of energy to it uh, but i do feel that there is that this person is being brought in for you to again elevate yourself and your own life so open it with open arms um or accept it with open arms and be okay with feeling uncomfortable about yourself okay how can i learn from this because I do feel that this is a beautiful, again, just to elevate yourself. So, um, pile number one. I kind of want to leave it here, to be honest. Because we're pretty, I'm like, yes. So, I am going to leave it here. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If that was the case, let me know in the comments down below. I love looking at it. If you already know who this person is. If you've just recently met. Let me know as well. Um, how did you know? How did you meet? That type of energy. Uh, so let me know. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. So I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's very, very helpful for me. So thank you so much for doing so. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. It's going to be a bit uncomfortable. But it is very much to, again, put yourself to that next level. So open arms. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. You got this. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number two. If you chose card number eight with hidden familiars, allies, natural assistance, divine support and comfort, then this is going to be your reading today. So who's going to come into your life next and why? For what reason? I'm definitely feeling a lot of support coming from this card. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of things. For some of you, like, <laughs> for some of you, I'm seeing this could be an, am an animal, um, um, like adapting an animal or encountering a new animal. Um, for others of you, I'm seeing that this could be a new uh, spirit guide entering your life and maybe like dreaming about them or like getting in contact with this new guide you have in your life. For others of you, this is very much a person, um, again, to show love and support that you have that divinely connection with. Um, Like-minded soul tribe type of energy for it so why do they come into your life definitely to support to help you guide to show and walk with you not just show you the way but walk with you on that same path you are very connected very much on the same path in the same direction and in this connection support each other you got this let's take a step forward and applaud each other when the other one takes a step forward or is further along the line we're able to still instead of being jealous of it just show support and you got this and you can and let's go you know very much an ally okay i want to start with the oracles and then i'll add in some tarot after so pile number two who is this person coming into your life next and for what reason who is coming into their life next and for what reason we have happiness for your happiness we have fertility as well as psychic abilities. Again, this might be a soul tribe thing. Very connected to you. Um, with your spirit. Again, for some of you, I'm seeing very clear. For some of you, it's an animal. For others of you, I'm seeing a new uh, spirit guide that you get to meet either in meditation or in dreams. 
Oh, that was quick. Okay. Hall number two. Who is coming into your life next? And for what reason? Why do they come into your life next? We have listening. A magical map shifter. I absolutely love this energy. And intention. Yes. Okay. Okay. Absolutely love this. Whoever it is, whatever it is, absolutely loving it. Um, to for them to listen, for you to be heard. Um, as well as with that magical map shifter to change the game. Fertility can talk about a new idea or a new adventure or this new this birth of this new uh new version of you with that magical map shifter very much changing the game that you are in with that intention um that the intention is actually as, like oh it's in a field of a dandelions you know where if you uh blow them all out you can make a wish where this one is just coming here and go like no no let's make a wish Let's make a wish. And let's, again, with that fertility and the egg here, let's, um, with our intention and this wish, let's make this egg hatch, this idea hatch. Let's, you know, absolutely love this. Full on support. Full on support here. To make it easier, to have a companion, to be able to trust or put your trust in someone else to help you support. Uh, for you to support them. For them to support you. Okay, pile number two. Who is coming into your life next? And for what reason? Why? <laughs> I'm also see already seeing transformation. I'm seeing regret and repression. We have masculine and ancestor guides. Again, for some of you, it is very much a new guide. Oh, let me put it like this so I can put the tarot on top. This person coming in your life, so you, one, again, transformation, um, the next level of yourself, as well as making decisions with that masculine energy making sure that you don't have any regrets that you tried everything that you could in order to get there they can be a bit like strict or very direct but it is very much like tough love very much let's go bitch let's do this don't doubt you. What are you doing? You're doubting your. No, let's go. Let's. You got this. Let, you know, very. Just very. Let's go. <laughs> it just brings so much happiness and so much. Feel like someone is there to listen to you. Someone is there to support and comfort you when you need it, to listen to you. Um. To support you in whatever crazy idea, wish, or intention you set for yourself. You want to do this? Fine. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's stay safe. But let's do this. Okay. Who is this? I kind of want to see, like, how will you meet this person? Oh, not a two. How will you meet this energy coming in? How will you meet them? I'm honestly kind of feeling like they will meet you. <laughs> they will find you. But, okay. Call number two. How will you meet this person? This was not one of the questions that I wanted to ask, but here we are. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. Temperance. And the King of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. The Hermit. So again, I'm getting very big, um, very big, like, internal things. So again, for some of you, it can be a new spirit guide that you get to meet. Uh, for others of you, it is a, a, an animal companion that you will, you will decide to, okay, I want an animal companion. And then when you're there, 
they will find you. There is they they will you will know this 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 pet this animal chose me. <laughs> I didn't I just came here. They chose me. Um, where with that two of swords, a very hard decision, having to make a decision. Am I gonna accept this? Again, I kind of feel like if this is a person, uh, a new guide or an uh, animal companion, uh, it's going to be very much, am I going to accept this? And it's, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely feel that they feel a bit like opposite from who you are bring very different energy and that can be a bit like oh okay um i'm seeing one of the two is very outgoing very active very let's go and the other one is a bit more reserved is a bit more well let's think about it let's you know and for some reason with that temperance it it, it works very balanced very yin and yang it just works. So who's coming into your life next? I'm having a hard time an answering that question, even though I kind of feel like I've already answered it. I'm to the point where I'm like, do we need some more for this? Because I'm a bit where I'm like, I don't think so. I'm just a bit more giddy as in I cannot wait like when this comes in. So let's take a look at the timeline. Uh, I didn't do it for pile number one. I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, but I want to do it for you guys. So let's take a look. Pile number two. When will this person come in? When will this energy come into your life next? When will this energy come in your life next? We have in a few weeks and stop obsessing first. Because it is going to be a bit... Um, Out of nowhere but in a few weeks in a few weeks you can look forward to that so pile number two i kind of want to leave it here for you guys and so i will i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated if that was the case let me know in the comments down below have you already just met this energy or have you noticed this energy coming in let me know in the comments down below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it so i know that i can make more of this type of content for you guys in the future as well if you have any suggestions please let me know and i'll take a look at it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already that's very helpful for me as well so thanks so much for doing so have an amazing rest of your day the this is just a lot of fun and a lot of again for your happiness coming in um so yeah, go kick ass. You got this. And hopefully I'll talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number three. If you chose card number 28 with Belladonna Visions, caution, guidance, clarity, and stand firm, then this is going to be your reading today. So who is coming into your life next and why, for what reason, what intentions do they hold? Now, for you, I kind of want to read the guidebook. I didn't do it for pile number one and number two, but I... Well, I read read it to myself, but for you, it's the first one where I'm like, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna read it out loud and let you know what it says about this card. And so, this new person coming in, or this person coming in, Belladonna visions. Is it real or is it illusion? Be cautious at this time and play your hand with a careful eye. The fruits of the situation may look inviting, but hold your emotions firm. Not everything is as it seems. You can resist the new chapter or choose to end old patterns. Contribute to clarity and not confusion. You know what's best for you. If need be, cut the cord and walk away. While I read that and did a little bit more meditation, for some of you, I feel like this might be someone returning into your life again. Um, again, this new person coming in definitely asks a lot of caution. For some of you, your intuition might be ringing some bells, not really knowing why or like can put your finger on it. Um, trust that because it also brings in a, you know, a clarity with this. 
trust your intuition. On the other end, for some of you, I feel like your caution might be coming from old toxic patterns of behavior. And with meeting this person, you might have an early judgment on them that might not be um, valid. But let's take a look what the rest has to say. So I want to start with the oracle and then I'll get some tarot on it for you as well. So let's take a look. Tile number three. Who is this new person coming into your life and with what intention? Why do, are they coming in? With what reason? Why is spirit bringing them into your life? Pile number three. Who is the next person coming into your life? And why? First off, already, clarity again. To gain some clarity. Show some more clarity. We also have financial health. We have peace. And we have spirit guide. So I definitely feel some sort of test here. Where I'm like, again, I kind of feel like spirit is bringing this person into your life for a reason. And I'm a bit where I'm like, huh. It's still a bit vague to me, where with that financial health, maybe they're asking for money or wanting to grow your financial health. Definitely gain some clarity. This might also be some like a scammer or someone that tried to get money from you. With that stand firm and being cautious. But I do feel that it's something that you will learn. Or if this is like a test of like, did you learn this lesson? Okay, what else? Pile number three. Who is this person coming into your life and why? And why? We have the bone collector, which to me, that is spirit. That is very much spirit and mother earth. We have the mountain, we have wide open, and we have a gentle gardener. So again, with that gentle gardener as well, being gentle, being cautious, being, you know. For some of you, this might be someone that, if it's like a romantic relationship, it might be someone that um, like will love bomb you. Because with that mountain, we have been very much depleted. Or there's a feeling of, I'm missing something. Or I would like to increase this part of my life. Whether that is friendship, romantic relationships, finances, health, career. Whatever that is. We feel depleted in one part of our life. And this person coming in, promising like the, the best of the best for you in that regards. Um... But instead of just like, oh, nice, thank you. And, you know, welcoming them in, be a bit more cautious. Why? What are the um, fine prints? What is, you know? Okay, let's take a look at these for you guys. Pile number three. Who is this person coming in for your life? And with what reason? That's it, okay. Uh, we have transformation. We have open and receive. That wide open. As well as facade and beliefs. So again, someone might be wearing a mask. I feel like there will be an offering coming in. Maybe even for some of you, a promise of change, of transformation. But spirit really wanting you to be a bit cautious. Yes, this is someone that spirit is bringing back into your life again. But for some of you, it is to finally really cut the cord with that person. Um, for others of you, it can be uh, a lesson. And for others of you, it can be to be open. Because we do have that wide open and open and receive. As in being open for this person coming in. Being open for this person to really help you out. Um, but it's going to be very different. That being open, I feel like it's only for a couple of you. I'm just feeling a lot of 
caution. Yes, we are bringing this into your life, but we still would like you to be, just because I am bringing this to you does not mean that it's always good. So, still be cautious. But this is something that you need to experience or need to learn or go through. Just be very, just trust your intuition. Listen to that inner voice. If something is off, something is off. Make sure you have all the um, knowledge, all the clarity. See everything perfectly clear of what this person is offering you. What it's asking of you before we accept it. And before we go with it. Again, we do have... The, oh, it's just, again, yeah. So annoying that we do have, like, spirit being here very clearly in the Bone Collector as well as spirit guide. As well as Belladonna Visions. I feel like spirit just would like you to do this. Take a look. Like, is this a facade? Is this really not real? Is this... Is there something off? Not to blindly trust. Okay, who is this person? Pile number three. Who is this person to you? Because so I, I kind of feel like we kind of know now why this person comes in, right? So who is this person? Only those? Okay. We have the four of swords. We have the page of coin and we have the five of coin. At the bottom of the deck, we have strength. Again, I kind of feel like this is a person uh, more so, uh, the, like the, the biggest red line I'm seeing here is finances. Again, with that page of coin, there's a feeling with that five coin of I don't have enough. I There's a mentality of lack. As well as maybe feeling a little bit in the victim role. Just getting by. And then this person comes and promises you opportunities and chances. Whether this is finances, because for some of you, again, I feel like this might be someone returning back into your life with the promise of change. Where with that strength card gives a lot of like charisma. Uh, might be a Leo for some of you. Um, but very much that like strong impression. Confidence. Charisma. Um, you know. That is very convincing. But we need more than words. Again, trust your intuition with this one. Trust your intuition with this one. I'm just having where, yeah, I'm not really seeing like who this is, but I feel like this is someone that you will recognize with this. Just don't blindly trust anything that they're saying. Because for some of you, this might even be like some sort of like pyramid scheme, right? Where someone's like, oh, it's so good because I do this and then you do that and I get this and you get that. And, you know, we work together and then you ask other people and then, you know, I got this much money because of this. Yeah, because they're higher up the pyramid scheme. Again, I, I just, yes. <laughs> Yes, this is someone that spirit is bringing into your life, but ju just because spirit or God or whoever, you know, brings a person into your life does not automatically mean that they have only good intentions, you know, because God brought this person to me. The universe brought this person to me. So this must be, you know, don't blindly trust. We need to know more information on this. So uh, I'm seeing a lot of like a, a big like warning sign. Uh, regarding this person not that they are not trusted not that you shouldn't trust this person just spirit would like you to be really cautious and really know what you're getting yourself into if you decide to keep interacting with this person um or not again with that belladonna it did say maybe you need to cut the cord with this person but we need to know for sure 
we need to have more information, each side doing our own research. Um, so yeah. I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. Pile number three. I And so I will. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If you've already just met this person or you are, you know, you kind of feel this person uh, coming in or you have an idea of who this is about, let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, please let me know and I'll take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. So thanks so much for doing so. Have an amazing rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I'll talk to you guys again in the next reading.